everyone and welcome to Fight Night 100. My name is Laszlo Torn and you're here watching Fight Night 100. One night only night of champions. The first match is scheduled to begin and is for the Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger, he's one half of the tag team champions. It's Mr. Blight. Well, let's see how they get on here tonight because these are going to be three gruesome battles for the Cruiserweight Championship, the Women's Championship, and the RFPW Dutch Heavyweight Championship. So that is what you want to get it on for. So, without further ado, let's meet his opponent. got that gaze in his eyes saying I can do this but just not might not be the way ladies and gentlemen his opponent from Ludwig's half and I'm Ryan Germany he is the cruiserweight champion Damak so let's see how he can do it's been pretty on the well known coverage on, uh, on TV time last time we saw him was Fight Night 98 when he defeated Aiton Silver and again we haven't seen him and we have seen Aiton Silver so that comes to light in has the Cruiserweight division been under lighted for quite a while since the Mac came into place that's not good But I will uh, we'll take a look uh, at a closer inspection following our wiki, RagingFalconPresident.wiki.com. Uh, the Mac has been reigning this division since 30 October, nearly two months. And uh, yeah, he's, he's doing fine. The question is, can he hang on? I mean, that's a tough decision to make when you make one of these special events. But after 57 days, he's already overtaken TJ Perkins, Rocky Future, and Will Osprey. If the Mark hangs on, he will go past Dom Black, the second longest reigning Cruiserweight Champion. So there is a question that backs the difference. Can the Mark do this? Once and for all. He just might. We'll have to find out right now. 57 plus days. Will he hang on to it? We'll find out now. Live on Fortnite 100. The 100 episode. One and only Night of Champions. There we go. But already the Mac is the third longest reigning cruiserweight champion. He can last longer than Will Ospreay. Okay, we have to back the difference. Osprey is not there anymore. Andrew is not there anymore. TJ Perkins is not there anymore. Don Black and Rocky Future are. But has the division, has it weakened? Might that just be the problem? Because these title shots are uh, will be given out uh, much more infrequently than they have been, because people have to earn it, and they will have to be able to choose uh, for which title they will fight for, uh, based on their point statues. Of course, these points will be a remainder um, for. Um, the wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands, which we've already made the uh, list of. Oh, and the Mac completely misses it. Completely overshot it. I mean, taking a look at the uh, 2017 Formula Championship, 
You can do so under our EFET news section on rfpw2014.weebly.com. You can see our uh, division and qualifiers for the Western Grand Prix of the Netherlands on the 1st of January 2017. Uh, qualifiers for that are as far as the stand calls because one has been suspended and that would be the bulldozer on suspension after some trouble backstage maybe we'll see his return not sure yet Luther Valentine, Kip Sabian, Jack Sagersmith, Jake Mankulski, Curtis Norman, Damak and P. Dunn have all qualified for the men's division now it depends on who's going to be one and two but the numbers one and two will be facing off against uh, the number three and four. And the numbers three and four will be determined by a six way over the top battle royal. With the final two left standing good already to the second round. But the last man standing will face the number two seat so he should be having it easier on paper. Uh, and the number one will go up against the number four so the second uh, longest survivor. And for the women's division, it will just be uh, a four-way, uh, four women single elimination tournament involving the alpha female Melanie Gray, Kaylee Gray, and Eva Lee's Velez. So four wrestling Grand Prix this uh, well next year, including the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, and Great Britain. The Mac, oh no, no, no suplex, and uh, with everybody qualifying uh, earning points for that event and a TKO for the men's division starting out with 15 12 10 8 6 4 2 1 and uh, the women's division for 10 8 6 4 2 1 the Mac wins with a TKO and therefore retains his Cruiserweight Championship now the winner of each wrestling Grand Prix will automatically qualify into the next one so should you win the Dutch Wrestling Grand Prix the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands will automatically advance for the Belgian uh, Wrestling Grand Prix if I'm saying that right yes I said that right and so if you win Belgium you go on to Germany if you win Germany you automatically qualify for Great Britain the other ones will be based in based on their ranking two weeks prior to the respective Wrestling Grand Prix uh, so the Mac wins, retains the cruiserweight title, and therefore will officially go past Don Black as of tomorrow. Now we move on to the women's championship. A lot to be said. You could call this a heavyweight bout, ladies and gentlemen. The full of matches scheduled for to one fall. And introducing first the challenger from Glasgow, Scotland, Viper. And his match is for the Women's Championship. Tell yeah, that's gonna go. I'm really, uh, really curious about this one because this might be the changer of, uh, of things that we need here I really think so and so her other opponent from Hamburg Germany she is the women's champion ladies and gentlemen the alpha female oh damn i can't really wait for this can you you shouldn't be able to let's go Well then, here we go, the women's title on the line. 
Let's see who can make this dream work. Can Viper become a two-time women's champion? She was the initial 2016 women's champion in a new layout. Held the title for 30 days until losing it to Mia Yim. So therefore she... Oh god, just look at that. Sheer power. Man. Oh. Well. That's more insult than any injury, but... It's not nice of it anyway. Uh, oh, flip over. Caught in the robes and yeah, she's bleeding in her neck. That should have not been any trouble, but it has been. My ideas, including Melanie Gray, uh, be the future of the women's division. Including Kaylee Ray, including Evely Gillette, Santana Garrett, Nixon Newell, Candice LeRae. We have one of the best women's divisions. From what I could say in a long time. But Canada the suplex went for a roll through with the arm drag. Currently Viper is in position number 8 on the rankings. Only got one point, but she only made a return recently. Oh! Right in the back! That even gave me shivers. Oh, Alpha Fable going to the top rope. That's something you don't see. Boy, Jesus. She does make an impact with that splash. Doing wonderfully. Well, Viper's on the offense. There's still so many that are gonna come in 2017 to RFPW returnees, debutants. There you go. Oh shit. Oh man. Well, oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Oh, Roman Affairs, no canvas. Ah, uh, not the way it should be going. Oh, she's in trouble now. No, Viper. Can is it? Just gotta put her in the ropes. Oh, yeah, Viper's feeling it, and rightfully so. But she's got to make a stand now. If she doesn't make a stand, this just might be over anything quicker than, uh, than you know it. Than you could even realize it. Because the Alpha Female is just that damn good. Oh, Fiber pulled down to the outside. And the referee can start the count and up to one. Drop kick. Oh, jeez, what a slap across the face. Viper when it gets into the ring as quick as possible, trying to outsmart the alpha female. Kicks it in to the ankles. Oh, and just what a choke slam. With downward slap. Oh, full body impact. Two for the Viper. She do it up oh. now up oh, and over face first 
of a female look quite angry but also quite in pain oh I got a kick on the chest area and another drop in the elbow and basically sh a shoulder impact not a really much true by the alpha female always seem to get the counter what is it that she can't do I know she's going up to the top rope oh no deep arm drag and that is a full body impact Can Viper somehow get back into it? German suplex! Executed well by the alpha female. She's looking for it. Oh, she's going for a kind of move. One textbook. Viper's gonna give in. Oh my god! F! I full body impact and the alpha female retains wow that was a classic didn't know she could do that oh, but Jesus this was a heavy confrontation on Aaron fighting at 100 night of champions one night only And I don't want to know what this is going to spell out for our next major event. Which is going to be Crossroads. Which will be normally at the end of January. So I really want to know what that's going to be like. It's going to be dangerous. So... Here she is, the alpha female retains her women's championship. What a great night here on one night only, night of champions. Fight night 100 and now it's time for the main event, the Dutch heavyweight championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to ringside. Last week, this man faced the bulldozer for the hardcore tile and lost it out quite unexpectedly allow tonight he is the challenger to the Dutch heavyweight championship from Lisbon Northern Ireland ranked number two he is the 183 tall 99 kilo heavy former Dutch heavyweight champion Luther Valentine 29 years of age let's see how it's gonna be like I really can't wait so And now, ladies and gentlemen, the one we've been waiting for. From Porchester, England. He is the number five ranked wrestler, according to the RFPW official rankings. Standing at 180 tall, weighing at 77 kilograms, he is the Dutch heavyweight champion, Jake. Markoski Well then uh, So let's see what it's going to be like A cuckoo in many ways But it should be good
And there's what it's all about, the Dutch Heavyweight Championship. So, without further ado, it's Valentine, the challenger. And it's McCluskey. It's gonna try and defend it here tonight. I have no doubt that it should be good. Oh man, I can't wait. So, if you have anyone who's in your favour, type about in the comments because it's going to be very important for the latter stages of 2017 to support your wrestlers. They will listen to you, be interactive more with you in 2017, and you will get to uh, get to tell a little bit more in our FPWS fans how and why and the everything. We'll find it out uh, right after the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands, uh, which will be airing this Sunday, next Sunday, 1st January. That's when it will make its air date. It's going to be all in the new year, baby. Oh, right hook. Heavy right hook. Oh, oh Jesus, what a big boot. Oh. Yeah, no. Back body drop. It's gonna be Kerner. Kick. Oh man. Valentine going to the middle rope. Oh, cannonball. Oh, oh. Round his punch. No, nope, no, nope, McCluskey. To punch right to the stomach to uh, Valentine. Now the match is quite slow at pace. Does it make it any more dangerous? The slower it goes, the more open for the momentum shift it gets. One count. I have a cold, so just not signing the right way I should be signing, but hey. It's got to be happening, isn't it? It's got to be all happening right now. No way. Oh, just look at that. A 450 splash by a tank. Oh, I'm flipping believable. No, belly to back. Great job. On McCluskey. Blue Thunder Bomb! Oh, two count. Barely two. A 
Well down, it's got to be added some insult to injury. Realising that Valentine's standing up. And he's taking over control. Oh, leg sweep. Getting a choke hold on. McCluskey now. For the moon salt. Connect. Two. European uppercut. Spear, spear, spear. Cover. Two. It's time for a super kick. Oh, and a side kick instead of a hit kick. I did it, there it's impact. No, it didn't. Two count. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, my God. What a DDT. I didn't realize it. Damn. Oh, Jesus, what a DAT by McCluskey. Liz Arntine stranded on the ropes. Now a cover. One count. Crowd is going wild. Don't know who it is for, but. They're absolutely living this match now. Great execution of moves. Yes. They're not liking Valentine the way they did. Gonna go for another 450 splash. They do like that, but they're just like, oh Jesus, do we have to better with him again? One guy's just like, ha, ah, mediocre, mediocre. Not too happy or hateful of it. But it's something like Jake McCloskey. Blue turned the bomb. Yes, crowd loves it. McCloskey retains the Dutch Heavyweight Championship. Head on Fight Night 100. One night only, the Night of Champions. Thank you very much for watching this broadcast. Make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Comment on what you want to see in RFPW in 2017. My name has been Laszlo Torn. I thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you right next time. Until then, we'll see you on Revolution 21 or at the Westland Grand Prix of the Netherlands the 1st of January 2017. Until then, McCluskey is still the Dutch heavyweight champion. And so, Valentine, good night.